IBF super middleweight champion James DeGale was talking to Sky Sports earlier in the week and he says that a unification fight between himself and WBC super middleweight champion Badu Jack is nearly signed and the fight will likely take place in October or November this year. I'm going to quote James DeGale directly here. He says, it's nearly there. It feels like I haven't really been around, but don't worry, I'm quietly working I'm still training hard. Everything hasn't been confirmed fully yet, but it's nearly there. I was just having a bit of banter with Badu Jack saying, make sure my belt is shiny and ready for when I beat you. All I want to do is have my unification fight and win that WBC title. I'm willing to go anywhere. It's every boxer's dream to go to Las Vegas. I've agreed to do that. I'm a prize fighter, but this isn't all about money. The belts mean so much more. When I leave the sport and people talk about my name and put me up there with great fighters, that means so much more than the money. I've heard people talk about my money demands. I would box Badu Jack for free. The money is nothing to me, but it obviously helps. This is a very tough fight. A lot of people think it's a foregone conclusion and I'm basically going to batter him, but this is a tough fight. If I'm not 100% on point, I could lose. I've got to train hard, I've got to be focused and I've got to be at my best to beat Badu Jack. So there you go, people. Those are the words of James DeGale. This unification with Badu Jack seems likely at the moment. It hasn't yet been signed. So let's hope it does get signed. And if it does, Callum Smith, a.k.a. Beefy, is going to have to wait his turn. He is the mandatory challenger for Badu Jack. But should a unification fight take place... There are provisions within the WBC and the IBF rules for that matter for unifications. I, I assume Callum Smith would have to accept step aside money in order for the unification to take place. And most mandatory challenges decide to do that. It gives them more time to prepare and they end up getting paid a similar amount of money to what they would have got paid for actually taking the fight. So in, in essence, it's a free payday. So Callum Smith will probably take the step aside money if indeed step aside money is required in this situation. And if this fight goes ahead later on this year, people, who would you be picking to win this fight? James DeGale? Badu Jack? Tell me why, whichever way you're leaning. James DeGale did not look particularly impressive against Porky Medina. And some people feel that Badu Jack actually looked better against Lucian Butte than James DeGale did against Butte. So opinions are quite divided about who they think is going to win between these two if the fight goes ahead. So let me know how you feel, people. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.